AEW say goodbye to CM Punk and with that they also say goodbye to the ratings as this week's Dynamite is down by 57,000 fans. Welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling. The viewership numbers are in for AEW Dynamite and they are down from last week's show. Surprise, surprise, I think said absolutely nobody. Yes, Tony Khan got a slight increase last week, but was it worth it posting that CM Punk all-in footage? Was that small bump in the ratings really worth it when he came off looking that bad? I personally don't think so. But speaking of looking bad, there's not been that many videos on the channel in the past week. Uh, ever since like WrestleMania, uh, we've been like slowing down on the amount of videos and output on the channel. And unfortunately, there is a reason for that. Fog Wrestling had a death in the family this past week, so therefore... We haven't really been uploading much news or videos in general. Some of the reviews have been pretty late. And the the content's probably not been that interesting because I have been feeling down. So I'm not going to lie, guys. I apologize for that. Sometimes there's more important things in life than wrestling. But, uh, yeah, if you're wondering why there's been a lack of output recently and maybe why we haven't been as energetic or as passionate lately then that is why but having said that we do enjoy making feds on this channel we do enjoy talking about wrestling even if we're not a big fan of this current era so yeah we will continue and we will be talking about AEW Dynamite today but I just want to put it out there for anybody wondering like why our videos haven't been that great lately or why we haven't been putting out that many again it's wrestlemania season it's just unfortunately these circumstances happened and um yeah it sucks but you know we we must go on so uh let's talk about this week's dynamite ratings then so last week did eight hundred and nineteen thousand with cm punk obviously we've seen the on footage it got a slight bump uh that was expected though i think I was a little bit surprised at how low the number was. Now, maybe people just forgot about it. At the end of the day, I mean, it was a scuffle between Punk and Jack Perry. It's not going to draw millions, but I did think it would do a little bit better than it did. But again, you know, like I said, it's, it's water under the bridge. I think Tony Khan was expecting this to obviously get a bigger rating. Perhaps it might have if he was showing the footage between Punk and the Elite. Because there's NDAs on that, and that one obviously seems more serious. Uh, you had the dog Larry involved as well, so maybe that one would have got bigger numbers. But I mean, the whole incident played out like CM Punk said it would. Now, yeah, they got a little boost. Tony Khan said it made sense to show it because it tied in with the FTR uh, and uh, Young Buck storyline heading into the pay per view, heading into Dynasty. But this week, he said that showing that footage would get people infested in the storyline, but obviously that's not the case because this week we are down 57,000 viewers. Uh, Dynamite did a total of 762,000 viewers. And if you actually look at the Young Bucks, we will break down the quarter by quarter hours later. But if you look at the quarter hours, the Young Bucks once again are responsible for the biggest loss on the show. Every single week when you look at Dynamite, it's either the women or the Young Bucks that lose the most viewers. And this week it was the Young Bucks. So the, the showing the punk footage with Jack Perry, Jungle Boy, it, it didn't get people interested in the, the Young Bucks. People have actually tuned it again uh, in their thousands this week with the Young Bucks. So, yeah, like I said, 762,000 viewers Dynamite got this week. It did a 0.26 in the demo. Uh, it's down 7% from last week's 819,000 viewers and the demo is also down from last week it's down 13 percent so yeah just overall less people watching this show less people interested in this show now dynamite did have the return of john moxley and in terms of the youtube clips that seems to be what everybody was watching that did by far the best if we if we look at the clips so we're probably what maybe 20 hours 18 hours since possibly let's go with about let's say 16 hours right i think we're about 16 17 hours since these clips have been uploaded and the john moxley clip is by far 
the highest viewed. It's got 304,000 viewers, almost double the next highest clip, which is Will Osby taking on Claudio Cascanoli in the main event. So you've got Moxley, 304,000. Then it's Osprey versus Cascanoli, 168,000. Then it is Strickland and Joe Brawling. 146,000. Then at 136,000, we've got Adam Copeland and Will Nightingale taking on um, Brody King and Hart. And then just after that, it gets lower and lower. You've got Jericho and Hook, 116,000. You've got The Elite, The Bucks, taking on Garcia Pack, six man tag, 91k. Orange Cassidy, battling Shane Taylor, 64k. And then the, the, the lowest clip is The Virtuosa. Diana Parazzo taking on Mariah May, 57k, and again, like I said, the women always have the lowest amount of views when you look at the clips on YouTube or when you look at the viewership overall, the people watching AEW, the women just don't draw. People aren't interested in the women. The only time I've seen the women draw recently was when Mercedes made her debut because it was considered, I guess, a pretty big deal, a former WWE main eventer, a former WWE Wrestlemania main eventer coming to AEW, so yeah, that did create interest, and I mean, it was a pretty big deal at the time, Sasha Banks deciding to join AEW, but I mean, after the initial week, it's it's worn off big time, nobody is really caring right now about Mercedes Monet and all elite wrestling, and that's a problem for Tony Khan, it's a problem for AEW, and it's a problem for wrestling that uh, a, a so-called big star can come in and after like a week or two be pretty much irrelevant. So yeah, uh, it's, an, it's an AEW problem, not necessarily a WWE problem. They need to fix that. But I mean, Moxley, like I said, highest feud clip on YouTube this week. The feuds aren't great. The viewership aren't great. We will do the quarter by quarter hour breakdowns. And uh, that is pretty much, that's pretty much it, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Till then. Been Fog Wrestling. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Till then, though, peace.